Hello, Jimmy of the Royalties. Looking at a Renault traffic. So it's a 1.6 DCI. Okay, I've got the launch Euro tab here. We're just loading it up. Sorry, the screen keeps going off focus. Now we're just going to do a smart scan on the vehicle. Make sure ignition's on. So we've got some faults here. Don't think they're going to be related to what we're here for though, because we have a check injection. I'll show you that in just a minute once this is finished scanning. So he's been told it needs a DPF clean. Yep, so the DPF is clogged, but why is it clogged? Uh, multiplex system for the speed limiter. Uh, Preheating unit connection fault alerted. So we need to have a look at the glow plugs and then he's got an oil dilution fault there. What else have we got here? Clutch pedal. Right, we're not going to pay attention to those ones for now, just these. So we're just going to enter into that. Um, data stream. Let's have a look at the differential pressure. The soot. So we've got that ticked. Um, I'm not sure if there's something we can, I can't remember if there's anything we can do with the glow plugs, no. Right, let's get those ticked up. 51.7 grams calculated of soot. I'll start the engine and have it running. Change these readings over to millibars. So it's sitting at 25 millibars at idle. Now the engine is cold. When the engine warms up, it usually sits a little bit higher. We'll accelerate it up. Try and hold it around 3,000 RPM. I know these vans are a little bit difficult to get the RPMs to stay in one position. We have 140. So it's, it's blocked, but it's not the worst I've ever seen. And these are the faults we've got on the dash there. Check anti-pollution system. It also says check injection system as well. Spanner down there and the engine management lights on. Okay, so let's go outside the van and do some diagnostics. Um, and we'll show you what we're going to need to do. Likely we're going to need to change the glow plugs and clean the DPF. Okay, I'm going to move this coolant bottle. should just clip out of there let it sit just over there glow plugs we've got the electrical connectors just here so we take that out now I can't actually see the glow plugs from where I am right now because my head can only get just about here but if I come down with the camera there is the tip of um, glow plug number one and then we have two, three, and four, just over there. Okay, so just disconnected the little overflow there. It did splash a bit when I take that off. Just gonna tuck this little tube just behind there so it stays out of the way and we can get down to number four glow plug down there. We'll just unplug this plug here. Just pull out this dipstick. So that's out of the way. So I've pulled out the plug there for number four, which is just down there. Number three, there. And number two, right there in front of the dipstick holes. That's why I removed that. And just unplug this. So we've got all of the plugs out now. So I've got a multimeter here. I've got it set to that one there, which is ohms. And we've got the 
earth hair strapped to the engine and we're going to go along the tips of each glow plug let me just get that wire in there you can see we've got zero ohms on that one and we'll go to number two in there just get into that and we've got 6.5 and we've got the same on number three and then number four just down here again we've got zero on that so number four and number one is dead but we're gonna change all four Just getting all of these glow plugs out, we're on number two here. Okay, we got the new glow plugs and we're gonna get them fitted in here. Okay, that's one, two, three, and four over there. Yeah, that's all the glow plugs now, all tightened in, they're all torqued down. Just clip the coolant bottle back in place. Clip that little hose there back in. Okay, I'm back in my van, so I have launch DPF cleaning fluid again. In the uh, cup here, that goes attached to the little gun nozzle. And that attaches to the compressor. The compressor goes up to 9 bar, so 100. 20 psi roughly I think 131 psi okay we've got the cleaning fluid set up here it's time to get under the van okay so I don't know anything about these vans in terms of why they're all different but this one has the DPF right here with the tubes in a nice easy accessible place now some of them have the tubes that run up to the back of the bulkhead up there and they are a bit of a nightmare to get to this sensor this one is a much better design here a lot, a lot easier to access it so uh, we're gonna open one of these tubes this one right here got a little pair of these hose clip pliers give that a little bit of a pull get a little pick and run it around the inside of the tube just to get it to come away from the metal pipe it's on uh, we should be able to just pull it off now it's much safer getting it off um, from this metal side here because if you give, do all that sort of pulling on here most of the time these plastic uh, pieces just snap off the end and you, then you need a new sensor so now just get that nozzle pushed in there it's a little bit loose so we might get a bit of leakage pull the trigger Let's come off. Okay, that's all done. Pull it off. Okay, so that's it. We're all ready to go now. The van's been put back down. DPF cleaning fluid's in. The new glow plugs are fitted. Okay, let's get it started up. We're gonna hold the revs up around sort of 3000 RPM again. Try and get it to stay there. And we'll keep an eye on the DPF pressure and the grams of soot. So the revs aren't really staying very steady, that's why it's pressure's jumping around 
try and get it to stay there. It looks like it's kind of steadied out there. We are down to 50 millibars. And idle we are now down to around about 6 millibars. So now with the engine off, uh, I need to go into some special functions. Um, see what we have here. Adaptives after replacing the particle filter, we'll do that. Now we haven't replaced the particle filter, but now the pressure is down, it's safe to do that. It's just going to get it to recalculate because the subgrams are now high and the fault code won't clear unless you do this replacement with the special functions. Okay, that's done. Okay, now back to the fault codes. Uh, now we've got these pressure sensor, uh, the manifold pressure sensor for codes because we unplugged it while we're fitting the the uh, glow plugs. Now the oil dilution, um, I didn't really speak to the customer about that, I completely forgot about it. But yeah, we're going to go and have a chat with him, tell him he needs an oil change. But we're going to need to reset that now to get the DPF to work because it won't work with that code there. So first I'm going to clear the fault codes and that will clear that message. There you go. Once that message is cleared, we can use these little buttons here. So we're going to go to there to where it says service required. Press up on that. And we're going to press and hold it. Sorry, it's in the wrong place. I need to go to this one where it says service intervals. And again, press and hold the button. Now let go. And then press and hold again. Wait until it stops flashing. 400 miles, that's not that's not right, is it? Okay, so I think I figured out there why it's saying there's an oil dilution. Someone's obviously been messing with the settings. Now this customer has had the oil changed not so long ago. So if we go through this menu, where is it? Service intervals I think there's a way we can change it where is it gone let's try toggling the ignition on and off okay so I can't seem to remember how you do it on there but we'll try and do it on the scan tool instead uh, special functions service intervals for the dilution should be able to change it on here. I don't want it to come ask for an oil change every 400 miles. Uh, okay, so it's asking a few questions. Uh, just going to change a few of these monthly frequencies, say between two and four. No, I'm in the wrong interval of oil change. Come on. No, I don't want to go to this again. Okay, so I found the oil reset and I've changed the intervals from 400 miles. I don't know how that was set. So now it's reset it to 15,000 miles. Let's press OK. Yep. Interval in days between two oil changes. Oh, yeah, so I need to change that as well. Uh, 365. 365 Okay, that should be done now with it Right Hopefully now that spanner will go off and it's not gonna say it needs a service still
No, we've still got a message. So let's go through the service intervals again. Let's see what that says now when we reset it. Maybe that hasn't worked. No, we've still got the same oil change in zero miles. Let's see if we can reset that now. There we go. I think they went up to 6,000. Was that 6,000 miles there? That's it. That was a bit of a, a bit of hassle. Okay, so I'll just go back on the Euro tab there to show you how I changed that. Uh, so I went to back through there, special function, interim and cluster, manual. So I've went back to the to the very beginning and went to special functions, oil reset, and then changed the the uh, whatever you call it, the parameters. So we're going to go back in now. We're going to look for the soot in the filter and see if the, see if that's reset. Okay, it's down to 18 grams. Let's hold the revs up. That's, that should just start dropping as we rev it up. So I noticed with these vans that when you do the DPF reset, it doesn't it doesn't work. But when the DPF pressure comes down. It just starts down now, it's the grams just start disappearing. So I'll just hold that here, a little bit of revs on it just for a couple of minutes until that goes down. As low as we can get it. I think under six grams is usually good enough. Okay now that we've just holding the revs for a few minutes, that's all done there. We'll get the tablet back out. Confirm that we have all the fault codes gone. And we can now exit that. And we should be all done. These can go back to my collection. One tried to get away there. So that's it. One Renault Traffic Vivaro, or whatever you like to call them, all done. See you in the next video.